All right, let's, let's give God praise sa reports sa Macau. Grabe, no? <clears throat> we know Macau is a place of uh, gambling and all. Masyadong makamundo. I've been there a uh, couple of times, pero the work of God is continually advancing. Grabe si Lord, ano? And despite this pandemic, nakita niyo naman, nag-church plan tayo. So hindi po na hinder ng uh, coronavirus yung gospel to advance, most especially uh, sa iba't ibang nasyon po ng bansa natin. Those flags na nakikita niyo, hindi ho display yan, ano? Uh, we're representing more than 80 nations all over the world. And the Lord has blessed us really with great missionaries that's... Uh, yung heart po ay makapag-share ng gospel. Kaya po, continue uh, helping us in prayer, of course, in giving, also in going. So if you have a heart for mission, sabihin nyo lang po sa akin, mamaya. Good news, pwede na magbakasyon sa Bible. Ay, sa Bible tuloy. Sa Bagyo. <laughs> sa Bible tuloy. Kasi nagugulat ako, mayroon kami mga invitasyon sa Bagyo. Pag magsuswab, ayaw ni Grace. So ako rin, ayaw ako naman dahil yung mga napapanood natin and all, ano? So <laughs> nung nandun ako sa sa segment ko dun sa, sa morning segment ko and then in-announce nga na wala nang uh, uh, swab sa majority ng mga pa, uh, lugar pasyalan. Lalim. Okay? And I guess yung pong uh, vaccine nakakatulong dahil according to recent uh, report sa atin po, I think more than 9,000 na yata yung na-vaccinate sa Pilipinas. And um, unfortunately, marami lang ding mga Pinoy ayaw pa mag-vaccinate. And I was uh, following the thread ng news parang uh, siguro half ng Pinoy hindi magpapabakuna. Siguro na trauma nung maliit. Ano yung bakuna rito nung araw? Yung lumaki? Nagka-keloids ka? Meron ba kayong keloids na gano'n? Oo, galit na galit ako nun sa nagbakuna sa akin. Parang dito pa tumama. Ang sakit, di ba? Parang ilang linggo mong ininda, di ba? Parang, parang majority of Filip- well, 50% according to studies and surveys, parang ay magpa-vaccinate. But then again, globally, nag- ang dami nag-vaccinate po na bansa. Kaya um, update ko lang kayo, recent report. Uh, gumaganda raw po yung takbo, yung numbers. Globally, nag-down ng 7% po yung mga deaths. Are you aware? Na 8,000 deaths a day ngayon na lang. That's, that's 7% down from the previous na walang vaccine. So, marami pa rin, 8,000 day, uh, deaths globally. Uh, medyo, kung titinan mo, parang mababa, no? Uh, pero buong bansa naman nyo, buong mundo rather. So, 400,000 new cases na lang on a daily basis. So marami pa rin, pero hopefully uh, umayos na. And lahat naman tayo, we're looking forward na again, ma-normalize. I don't know if babalik tayo sa normal. And um, kaya lang, ang hirap magkaroon ng kaseguraduhan, tama ba? Kasi may lumabas na naman South African variant, di ba? Katatapos na na UK variant. Darating ang time, ang tanungan na natin, anong variant nakadali sa'yo? Di ba? Parang ganun, ano? Ang hirap ng South Africa, medyo maitim yung ano niya. So... Paano ba yan? Di ba? Meron ng uh, uh, vaccine and then may mga studies na hindi effective yung ganitong klaseng variant. So, uh, nakaka, you know, nakaka-windang ba? Parang, parang roller coaster ride. Dati yung tagal dumating ng vaccine, dumating na yung vaccine sa atin, tapos open yung economy, and then sasara. Alam mo yun yung parang, hindi mo malaman talaga kailan ba talaga tayo babalik sa normal, right? Saan ba talaga makakakita ng ultimate solution sa pinagdadaanan natin ngayon? I don't know about you, pero... Uh, we wish na balik na sa normal, pero ang tanong, meron ba tayo talagang normal na babalikan or is this the new norm? Is there a wonder pill na pag tinake ng bansa natin or ng buong mundo, all of a sudden, babalik na tayo sa pre-pandemic, right? Parang before. But come to think of it, before naman, before pandemic, open naman yung economy, pero some of us are still anxious, some of us are experiencing problems, so some of us are too busy. In fact, some of you, it's a blessing na nagkaroon ng pandemia. Why? Because God taught us really what to focus. Tama? Nagkaroon talaga tayo ng 2020 vision. In fact, we narrowed down on what's really important, isn't it? Nagkaroon talaga tayo ng 2020 vision because last year, God somehow removed all the unnecessary stuff sa buhay natin. Narealize natin, dalawang boxer shorts, tatlong t-shirt, talo-talo na. Tama ba? Hindi yung pala kailangan ng maraming NMDs. Yung NMD ko nga nasira na oh. oh na, parang ang dami ko NMD nasira. Ano size nyo? Pamibigay ako. Under your chair. Check nyo. Hindi, joke lang, okay? Hindi yung pala kailangan ng maraming relo. Huwag mong yun nagko-collect. Di ba parang this tw- last year, really, God gave us a clearer picture of what's really important or not. May mga kaibigan ka noong 2020. Nilaglag ka. Okay, hindi yung pala talaga kaibigan nyo. Na narrow down yung mga halagang relationship kay Lord at sa pamilya. And everything else, you know, we'll just follow, you know, hindi ganun kahalaga. Yung biyanan, mahalaga yan. Okay, 
Nilinaw ko lang at nanonood ngayon. Okay, mami? Nasa may nanay mo ngayon? Kung nasa ka man, mami? Diyan ka lang. All right. Could it be? Look up here. This anxiety na parang roller coaster ride and all. Could it be na we're trying to put the wrong solution to the problem? Baka kasi we're putting too much hope and trust sa maling sistema or solution. Baka kasi dumating ang time na vaccinate ka na pero full of anxiety ka pa rin. Bakit ganun? Tatlo na itinurok sa akin. Ba't takot na takot pa rin ako sa future? Could it be that we're trying to fix something that's spiritual in nature but we're fixing it with physical? Right? I believe that the cause of all our anxieties and doubts and fears is more than just a physical reality but a, phys- but a spiritual one as well. Yes, physically, na, wala, na, wala ng trabaho, walang makakain, bagsak yung, yung sa classes and all, and, and stuff like that. I believe it's physical, but more so, I believe also it's spiritual in nature. Remember, we are spiritual human being tayo. We have, were created in the image and likeness of God. So we're spiritual in nature. And uh, I believe we're trying to fix a spiritual problem with a physical solution. Kaya parang hindi mag-connect Baka somehow kasi, ito lang po yung takot ko sa iba sa inyo, somehow God nung pandemic, ni-remove yung mga physical, uh, ang mga hindi mo kailangan, physically speaking, too much jewelry, too much gala and all, and then you're trying to put it back. And God is saying, anak, kaya ko nga tinanggal yan because I want, I want to give you something far better than just spirit, physical. Every time you look at, at, at a tree, meron ba tayo yung picture ng puno dyan? You know, the secret of a healthy tree you know, a strong, fruitful, taga robust tree is not on what is seen. Hindi po ang secret niyan, yung dahon, lilinisin mo yung dahon and all. The secret of a strong tree is on what's unseen underneath. Yung pong nasa ilalim niya. And sometimes, okay, we try to ignore what's happening on the inside and then only to find out it's just a matter of time, babagsak tayo. I have a friend na Ang ganda ng kotse niya, alright? And then, out of the blue, broad daylight, tanghaling tapat, walang bagyo, bumagsak yung puno. Do I, do I have that? Ayan. Ayan yun, yun yung kotse niya. Nabagsak ng puno. Ang daming uh, uh, dents and all. Nagulat sila kasi they had this tree for the longest time. Puno ng mangga. Ba't bumagsak? Nasan dala ng bata? The joke lang. Okay. Talagang ano, <laughs> ang tindi ng puno na to, no? Hindi, seriously, Tila niya yung loob. Okay, next slide. Yung loob ng tree, nabubulok pala, puro anay. So on the outside, it seems so strong and robust and, and, and parang uh, hindi mo talaga magigiba ng bagyo. On the inside, puro anay na po. It's just a matter of time. Ni, ni, hindi ka hinangin eh. Bumagsak siya. And that's, and that's the, the one thing I don't want to happen to all of us. Na seemingly we're trying to ignore the problem or seemingly we have this facade or front na everything is okay. Yung YouTube, ano mo, post mo, yung, yung uh, Instagram mo, yung and Facebook post mo, para everything is okay but on the inside we're decaying. It's just a matter of time. Our marriage will fall apart. Our children, you know, one day mag-open up sa inyo, ang dami na suicidal thoughts pala and all. I do hope and pray it's not gonna happen to you. Nasa labas, okay tayo sa loob, nabubulok tayo. And today, we're gonna talk about that. First things first, we need to find out what's the root cause of all our anxiety, problems, stress, worries, fear, doubts. Sa nagmumula yun? Because only then we can really find the solution. Tama ba? Because as I've said, baka naman gawa tayo ng gawa ng solution, mali naman pala yung sinusolusyonan mo. Right? So let's open our Bible to Mark chapter 4, verses 35 onwards. Yeah, do you have your Bible? Nabumili ba kayo ng Bible? OMG, hanggang ngayon wala kayong Bible? Ang ganda ng phone nyo, hindi kayo nag-download ng U- version. Libre lang yon. may quiet time pa sa, sa umaga. Okay? So mag-download kayo, puro TikTok din na-download nyo. version download nyo. Okay? Ayan na, nagkunwari yung iba nilabas, pero mag- mag- magbabiber yan. Uh, honey, wala pa rin tayong Bible. Okay. Okay lang, hindi mo nadala yung Bible, meron ako malaking Bible sa likod, okay? So, we're gonna talk about the story. This is a very familiar story, Jesus calming the storm. Alam niyo na to, in fact, 
Many times narinig nyo ito sa pastor nyo, sa pari nyo, or for those of you watching, you've watched the movie, and this happened and all. But uh, maybe to some, mga first-timer dito, of, para sa inyo to, I don't know. But nevertheless, this is a series break. Okay? We're gonna start a brand new series next week. So the, the pastor can, you know, we have the liberty to choose what we want to preach sa congregation. Because yung series, it's nationwide. So we cannot choose a topic pag series. So, that's why today, uh, iba-iba kami ng preaching, uh, mga pastors, and I, I opt to choose this topic. I don't know, baka may isa sa inyo na dapat makarinig dito. Let's just bow down our heads and pray. Lord, we leave up to you this story that happened 2,000 years ago. In fact, this is your story. Panginoon, layaan niyo po na matuto kami sa story mo. How you calm the storm. And maybe some of us nasa kalagitnaan ng storm ngayon. So, Panginoon, kung ito po'y nararapat namin marinig, buksan niyo po'y puso namin na tanggapin ang iyong mga katuruan at ma-i-apply namin at na magbago ang aming buhay. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright, in verse 35, it says there that day, okay, when evening came, Jesus said to His disciples, let's go over to the other side. Okay? Now, nung sinabing that day, it was a very busy day. In fact, it started, I think, the Mark chapter 3. Um, si Jesus was accused of blasphemy ng mga Pharisees. Dumating yung mga kamag-anak ni Jesus, mga kapatid. Parang sinasabi, nasisiraan ka na ng ulo, lika na, iuwi ka na namin. So, ang daming pinagdaanan ni Jesus, family, commotion and all. And then, uh, nag, nag-preach siya. Nag- ang daming niyang ginawa for the whole day. It was a very busy day for Jesus. And then, pagod siya. I don't know, for every reason, gabi na, but kailangan pa niyang tumawid ng kabilang ibayo. If you're one of the disciples, pwede mo sabihin kay Jesus, hindi ka po ba pagod? Pwede ba namang bukas na ng umaga yan? Total, hindi naman naalis yung ilog. Okay? Or actually, it's a lake. Okay? Yung Sea of Galilee, it's the Lake Gennesaret. Okay? So, so hindi naman naalis yung, yung body of water. Baka ba pwede bukas? I don't know. If I'm one of the disciples, pagod na kami, Jesus. And let pa ng dala nilang boats. So, but then again, of course, si Jesus yon, And then sabi, let's go, let's cross over to the other side of the lake. Ano ba yung lake na pinag-uusapan? This is, well, they call it the Sea of Galilee, but it's a freshwater lake. Famous po tong Sea of Galilee because this is where yung demon possessed the guy. Dito yung anak ni Peter, ah, uh, ni Jairus rather. This is where Peter walks on water. Dito nag-breakfast after the resurrection. So marami nangyari. Sikat tong lugar na to. In fact, if you happen to vi- visit um, uh, Israel, one of the famous tours, dadaling kayo dyan. Okay, sasakay kayo sa boat, pupunta kayo kung saan nagpunta si Jesus, and then sasabihin ng tourist guide, uh, we're gonna treat you for a lunch. We're gonna eat the fish that Jesus ate. Nung nando kami ng first time, everyone's excited. Yung mga foreigner, oh, we're gonna eat the fish that Jesus ate. Excited lahat. Eh di kami mga Pinoy, naki-excite na rin. Okay, ah, talaga kakain tayo. Nung sinerve, tilapia. Sabi ko, pambirang patisto. Okay. Yung digay ko, may tilapia pa nga kaninang galing ako ng Kabanatuan o ng Manila, eh, di ba? So, parang yun lang pala yun. So, tilapia kinakain ni Jesus. So, matuwa ka. Yung kinain ni Jesus, kinain mo na. Alright. Nakakain ka naman ng tilapia. Or, di ba? Oh, anyways, so, nung, 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 nung um, tumawid na sila, here's what happened. Here's a picture of uh, topography of the Sea of Galilee. Napapaligiran po siya ng mga mountains and, and hills and valleys. Now, it's very important to the story because Pag pumasok yung hangin, na malakas na hangin sa bunga nga ng, uh, ng, ng Sea of Galilee, at pumalo siya sa mga bundok sa paligid, nagkikreate siya ng sudden turbulence. So hindi po unusual na tanghaling tapat, broad daylight, ang liwanag ng araw, biglang magkakaroon ng bagyo. Are you getting the point? Yung mga suddenly sa Bible na sinasabi, suddenly a furious squall came. Yung po yung nangyari dito. If you look at the next verse, suddenly a furious squall came. So biglang iniwan ni Jesus yung mga disciple, okay? Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along. And then sabi dito, a furious squall came. It's so sudden. Papunta sila gabi. And now, I, again, I always say this, pag nagbabasa ka ng Bible, put yourself into the story. Almost midnight, merong lampara, and then out of the blue, dumating yung bagyo. And the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Sobrang lakas po, okay, ng bagyo na yung tubig pumasok na po sa bangha. 
Ang lilet ng boat, and then maraming boats na kasama si Jesus, siguro yung mga nagsunuran, I don't know, mga four to five per boat, so on daming disciples and all, saka yung mga followers niya, and then all of them are experiencing the same thing. Pumapalo po. Now, before we continue with the story, let me tell you up front, hindi ito alam ng mga disciples, so keep quiet. Actually, this is just a test. Si Jesus po is gonna parang uh, go this, through these disciples through a test. He's gonna uh, allow these things to happen because of course, He is God all-knowing to test the disciples. Though this is just a test. Of course, di nila alam yon. Tayo lang nakakaalam nun. Okay? Clear. Okay. Tuloy ang story. Baka mabulabog sila, Peter. Huwag niyo mo lang sabihin, ha? Test pala to. Anyway, so, na, a furious squall came and then, let me tell you something. A storm can happen suddenly. Ano yung mga suddenly sa buhay natin? A doctor's report? Suddenly, ang saya-saya nyo, out of the blue, now you're in ICU. Suddenly, you found out, yung anak mo pala, ang daming depression and, and, and ang daming mga problema and you feel like he's on his own, hindi ka involved sa buhay and then may mga suicidal attempt. Suddenly, you found out, wala ka na palang negosyo. Suddenly, wala ka ng trabaho. Storms can happen suddenly and I can just imagine this sa loob ng bangka and everyone's scrambling, so much chaos sa bangka, so much commotion sa boat. And everyone was shouting, everyone was scrambling, everyone, si Peter nagsasagwan, si John nagtatapo ng, ng timbang ganon, and then, and pagbawasan yung bigat ng bangka, itinapo na si, si Philip and all. Uy, disciple yan, ibinalik ng pating and all. <laughs> Ang gulo, no? Sobrang imagination, ano? Okay, so anyway, nagigets niya na yung picture. Ang gulo sa boat. Now, here's my question. Nasaan si Jesus? Verse 38, and Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. <laughs> Long to light si Jesus. Well, we can see the humanity of Jesus. He was fully human and fully divine. So si Jesus, napapagod din. Jesus was sleeping on the stern, on a cushion, in the middle of a storm. How can you sleep in the midst of the storm? Paano ka makakatulog kung report stage 4 na cancer mo? I don't know. Paano ka makakatulog? Sinabi ng mister mo, hindi na ako uwi ng bahay kasi may bago na akong chika, babes. Mag- yung ATM, nasa iyo naman. Pero nakasanla yan. So, ang gulo, di ba? <laughs> nasa yung ATM, pero sinanla, di ba? How can you sleep in the midst of a storm? I don't know. But then there's this Proverbs that says, Proverbs 3, 24, when you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Why? Verse 26, for the Lord will be at your side. Wow. How about that? The reason why, the, according to Proverbs, we can sleep like a baby at night in the midst of a storm, knowing because the presence of God is with you. Another verse. I love this verse lang, na, these verses that says about sleeping in the midst of a storm. Sabi dito, in vain you rise up early. Okay? Sabi dito, and in vain you come home late. Working so hard for your food. Sounds like pre-pandemic. Tama ba? Ganyan ka ba ng pre-pandemic? Yung tatlo trabaho mo, yung nagkakandikuba ka, yung parang feeling mo, kailangan mong bumili naman ng isang kondo, kailangan mong bumili naman ng isang LV na bag, kailangan mo naman pumunta na sa ukay-ukay sa Cubao at bilhin lahat ng mga Chanel na Japake doon. Ano ba? Anybody here nung pre-pandemic, ito ka? You rise up early, you come home late, toiling for food to eat, and then here's the thing about God. Yes, God provides for those who He loves even when they are sleeping. How about that? If you're a child of God, while you're sleeping, God is providing. Come on now. Habang natutulog kayo na ayos ni Lord yung I'm not saying maging tamad ka. No, 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 no. You're gonna do your part. You're gonna work. You're gonna work hard. But at the end of the day, alam niyo ba kaya hindi makatulog sa gabi ang isang tao? I know this because ito sakit ko minsan. Si Grace will always remind me of this. Yung hindi ka makatulog, Yung 2 a.m. na, naka, naka-sleep ka ng ganun, pero ang daming tumatakbo sa isip mo kasi dahil mo unfinished business na iniisip. Ideate ka ng ideate and then isip ka ng isip. Before you know it, alas 5 na, saka ka matutulog. Tapos mag-alarm ng 6. Ang labo, no? Because you feel like kung hindi ka kikilos, hindi ka kakain. You feel like kung hindi ka talaga mag- on the top of the game, baka mawala yung negosyo. Wow! 
Look up here. While we are sleeping, our Father in heaven, our God in heaven is providing. Any loving and responsible father will attest to this. I'm a father myself. Kahit tulog yung mga anak ko, ako nagbabayad ng internet. Ang sarap ng buhay. Ang sarap ng tulog sa aircon. Kami ni Grace, inuorasan namin. Every four hours, kailangan siya mamatay. Pag namatay siya, mag-electric fan na kami. Pero yung mga anak namin, grabe. Ah, yung aircon. Ang sarap ng buhay. Tapos kung mag-request para may patago, Dad, uh, can we buy, ano? Buy, buy ano? Sabihin mo, bilisan mo. <laughs> Kasama itong mga tanda, lumalaki request. Tama ba? Yung dati, cotton candy lang. Ngayon, kung mag-request, can, kochi na. Dad, can I buy a car? Uh, sure. How many? Okay, so... Now, let's look. Let's go back to the story. Jesus was sleeping. The disciples woke him up and say, Teacher. Look at the word. Teacher. They know Jesus as a teacher. Not Lord, not Savior. They call te- Jesus. They've been with Jesus, I don't know, for like a year or two. I don't know. Hindi ko pa alam kung gano'ng katagal na. But definitely, meron na pong marami na silang time na pinagsamahan ni Jesus. And, and yet, the disciples said, Teacher! Sabi ni Peter, May I go out? Hindi, hindi pwedeng magawa. Nasa, nasa bangka sila. Teacher, don't you care if we drown? There's a tone of accusation. Have you ever prayed a prayer na tumawag ka kay Jesus, tumawag ka kay Lord, pero inaakusa mo? Lord, wala ka bang pakialam? Jesus, hindi mo ba nakikita yung paghihirap ko? Tapos meron ka pang comparison? Jesus, yung katabi ko mukhang hindi nagtatights. Bakit pas bless siya? Jesus, bakit ako dumating dito sa, sa rotonda, nakaangkas? Siya naka-BMW. Mukhang hindi naman siya nagtatay. Anybody here, you, you compare yourself with other Christians? Tapos, feeling mo, ah, feeling mo lang naman to. Mas, mas entitled ka sa blessing ni Lord kaysa sa, sa iba. Have you ever prayed the prayer na may tone of accusation? And you're saying, Jesus, wala ka bang pakialam kung mamamatay kami. Have you ever felt that God is silent? Sino rito may prayer ka for the longest time, hindi pa sinasagot ni Lord? And somehow, we feel like, si Lord, hindi a concern sa akin. But ayaw niyang ibalik yung asawa ko? but ayaw niyang maayos sa marriage ko? but ayaw niya, I don't know, hindi ko rin alam. But sometimes we feel that God is not answering our prayers, hindi siya concerned. I'll tell you something, just because God is silent doesn't mean He's absent, isn't it? Hindi ko nit silent siya, ibig sabihin, absent siya. Because He answers our prayers, hindi laging yes. Sometimes it's no. Sometimes it's wait. Sometimes it's yes, go, I'll give it to you. But he answers our prayers. Kaya lang, ang problema natin, we want a yes answer from God. In fact, when we pray, FYI lang si God, God, ha, mag-start ako negosyo. Lord, patok to. Loto, Lord, loto. <laughs> Yayaman tayo, Lord, dito. Ang laki ng tides ko rito, Lord. Malamang hindi kayo bless ni Lord. Lord, bigyan mo ko ng dalawang number para sa wedding. Please, Lord. Tanggal mo sa book of numbers. Naghahanap ka ng ano? Ano yung dalawang number? Ipopompiyan ko, Lord. Itayaan ko ng isang daan, di ba? Malamang hindi kayo bless ni Lord. Check your prayers. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Minsan yung prayer natin, makasarili, no? Or ako lang. Ang dahil mong utang, pinagdansal mo, mamatay yung mga pinagkakautang mo. Lord, kunin mo na sila! Para wala na akong utang, ikaw kaya kunin ni Lord. Wala ka na rin utang, but, but seriously, they woke up Jesus, and I don't know, maybe again, again, be imaginative. They want Jesus to help them, pero not the solution that Jesus had will do, okay? Ang ginawa nila, I don't know, maybe it's just me, nag imagination Inabutan ni Peter si Jesus ng sagwan at si John ng timba, tumulong ka, one way or the other, just help us. Magsagwan, magtapon ng tubig. So, you have two things, Jesus, magsagwan o magtapon ng tubig. I don't know, maybe they want Jesus to help them, but not the way na gagawin ni Jesus and, and makikita natin yan sa Bible because nagulat sila lahat sa ginawa ni Jesus' solution. You know what Jesus did? Hindi kinuha yung timba, hindi kinuha yung sagwan. And then Jesus walk on the side of the boat. Look up here. Okay? Ano ginawa niya? Kinausap yung wind sa waves. <laughs> Kung ikaw yung disciples, eh, ba't ka nakipag-usap sa hangin? Because Jesus said three words. Tatlo lang. I'm sure sumigaw si Jesus. I don't know, kasi malakas yung hangin, maikay, nagsisigawan. Sumisigaw yung mga kabilang bangka. And then Jesus said three words. Quiet, be still. Yun lang. 
Ginising ko lang isa sa kanya, naka-duster na blue. Nagising na. Okay, ginising ko lang. Okay na? Okay, nagising na siya. Okay. Quiet, be still. Ang dali magtago ngayon matulog dahil naka-face, hindi ko nakikita eh. Ito, may isa rito. Balcony, may dalawa. So, masasarap matulog doon eh. Madilim. Look up here. Imagine for a moment, Jesus went to the side of the boat and then talks to the wind and to the waves. Minsan ang solusyon ni Jesus is not according to our solution, isn't it? Oftentimes, may solusyon tayo, Jesus, gawin mo to, aayos sa negosyo ko. Jesus, bigyan mo ako ng mapapangasawa. Gusto ko gwapo. Di bali ng gwapo. Kahit, kahit hindi gwapo. Di bali ng gwapo, basta mayaman. Hindi, magpapakasal kami. And sometimes, we have this set of solution to our problems. And si Jesus, FYI lang. And we want Jesus, i-bless yung prayer natin. Jesus did something weird. Kinausap niya yung wind at waves. Kinausap. Three words. And if you're Peter and the rest of the disciples, pare, ang labo. Kinausap yung waves. Pare, ano ba nananaginip pa siya? nag sleepwalking ba siya? But you know the story. The wind died down and it was the word completely. Everybody say completely. Sa mga nasa online, pakitype mo, completely calm. Completely means completely. Wala na akong maipang mag word. Alam niyo yung, di ba, I mean, nakasakay na tayo lahat sa boat, right? Pagka malakas yung alon at huminto na, tumahimik na, nasa pangpangka na, di ba pumapalo-palo pa rin, right? Yung bangka, nakakahilo nga, di ba? Pagka burakay ka, pag, pag dock na ganun, gumagalaw. Ito hindi, para iba. Alam niyo yung parang yung, yung ice, yung ice thin na, na the lake, ganun ka smooth. It was so smooth. Ay, yung response ng mga disciples, they were all terrified. <gasps> Takot sila nung may bagyo, mas lalo sila natakot nung huminto. Ang weird, ano? Wow! How can you talk to the wind and to the waves and command and you obey ka? Hello? You know why? Hello! Because it's the very voice that created them. Remember in Genesis 1, siguro yung wave at wind, oh my gosh, naging tao siya! Siya yung nag-create sa atin, ha? Doon sa Genesis 1, kinate ni God lahat. And that same voice commanded them, stop, quiet. In fact, kahit na tumayo lang si Jesus, pinaganun lang tatiyan. Pero para alam lang ng mga disciple na siya nagpahinto, kailangan lang niya magsalita. He doesn't have to open his mouth, hello? But he had to open his mouth for the sake of the disciple. Quiet, be still. And everything was calm. And after rebuking the wind and the waves, he turned his attention to the disciples and then it's time to rebuke the disciples. Kasi yung win at waves, madaling sumunod. Ito mahirap, pare. Ikaw din mahirap. Ako mahirap sumunod. And the next verse, ito yung ipapakrostitch mo sa nanay mo pag uwi mo. Yung next verse, tita, okay, may tagabataan dito. Tita, yung next verse, ipaprint mo to sa anak mo, ilagay mo to sa kusan man ko lang pupunta sa rep, sa pintuan, it, it, itatak mo sa noon ng asawa mo. Because this verse will give us the truth about all our fears and worries and anxiety. Ito ang foundation ng lahat ng ating fears. And Jesus said, Why are you so afraid? Two questions. Do you still have no faith? Jesus told the disciple, Bakit kayo natatakot wala ba kayong pananampalataya sa akin? I don't know, they've been together for more than a year, I don't know, but for, for, for some reason, ang tagal na nilang kasama si Jesus, they've seen everything na ginawa ni Jesus, nag-perform ng miracle, nabungay ang patay, nakalakad ng bulag, nakalakad talaga yung bulag, okay, nakalakad yung paralyze, okay, si ate, <laughs> amen, <laughs> alam mong tulog, eh. <laughs> kahit ano sabihin, ina amen, anyway, so, and, and, and you still have no faith. Look up here. There's a picture here. Para siyang siso. When, when fear is high, okay, yung, yung faith has no room. That's what Jesus is saying. Why are you so fearful? Do you still have no faith? Now on the other hand, if faith is high, fear has no room. But let me tell you something. They cannot coexist. Hindi pwedeng magkasama na you're so in faith in God. Lord, I'm so in faith in you. Pero 
You're so infidel. Pero Lord, natatakot ako. Baka hindi mo kayanin. Baka may plan B ako, Lord. Magsatanda akong kidney kung kailangan. Sabi ni Lord, ba't ka pa nagdasal? Kung may plan B ka. Either you're gonna make me your Lord or not at all. So it cannot coexist. Now, let me ask you something. We might not have been exposed to COVID, talking about the virus, but what has COVID exposed in us? Maraming hindi ka na-exposed sa virus, wala kang COVID-19. Pero ano yung in-exposed sa'yo ng virus? Ano in-exposed sa'yo ng pandemic na to? I don't know. Maybe anxiety. And this anxiety is creeping in. Takot ka sa future, takot ka, I don't know. Ang dami mong fears and worries and doubts. You've even questioned God maybe. Bakit ganito? Ba't ako namatayan pa ng tatay? Ba't ako pa nagka-pandemic na to? Ako pa nagka-viral? I don't know. Ba't ako nawala ng trabaho? I don't know. But somehow, we're so anxious. And let me tell you about anxiety. Anxiety exposes our idols. Every time there's an uh, anxiety that's creeping in, it just exposes. Meron tayong pinanghawakan ng pinanampalatayahan na hindi ang Diyos. And then, nalaman natin na hindi pala siya tatagal. I don't know. To some, it's power. To some, it's prominence possession, or pedigree. I don't know. And all these things, before pandemic, we thought this power, I don't know, ano position mo? Vice mayor ka, governor, uh, congressman, billionario ka, your prominent, your last name mo, your possession, your, I don't know. All these things, pinanghawakan mo, yung pandemic, sinyater niya lahat to. These are man-made idols. That's why the Bible commanded us, do not make for yourself an idol. An idol is something we make. In fact, our hearts are idol factory. I can make an idol out of this clicker. I can make an idol out of my shoes, my wife, my children, this watch. We always create idols. Ano po idols? Where you put your trust and hope that is not God. Hindi si Lord and everything will be an idol. So anything can turn into idol. A money is good, money is good. But then, kung you want money at all costs, it can turn into idols. So, then, then let's, let's, let's continue with the story. They were all terrified and they asked this question, three words, who is this? That even the wind and the waves obey him. Look up here, I told you this is a test. They all failed the test. <laughs> this is a test, ang title ng test, okay? Because storms can be a test, right? They all failed the test, parang F. Failed. Hindi fasado. Hindi perfect. Failed. Apparently, they don't know who Jesus is. It is during storms of life you will discover what you really believe. Pagka po may storm, dun lumalabas talaga, naniniwala ka ba kay Lord or hindi? During storms, lalabas talaga yung foundation ng faith mo, whether it's true or it's the fake. Storms have a way of revealing the truth about us. And they all fail the test. Now, let me ask you this question. How well do you know your Jesus? Because sabi ni Jesus, you of little faith. Why are you so afraid? You still have no faith. And then the disciple says, Sino to? Ang tagal na kasama. Pero who is this? The display of power of Jesus led them to thinking, hindi pala natin unabis kilala tong tao na to. Who is this? Now, I don't know, maybe some of you uh, believe Jesus is a genie. Last night in my show, I have a daily broad show every Friday, 8 p.m. Last night, si Kuya Kim Atienza ang guest ko. And he was saying, Pastor, nung una, before I met Jesus, the real Jesus, I thought Jesus was a, some sort of a genie. Best friend, body-body, big bro. Pag may kailangan siya, magdadasal siya, big bro, or, or best friend. Ibigay mo yung gusto ko. Tingin niya kay Jesus, parang Santa Claus. Or parang genie. Alright? Or parang ATM. May dineposit akong good works, kailangan ibigay mo yung pinag-pray ko. Parang Santa Claus, nako, bad ako. Hindi mo ko, I'm naughty. Huwag mong ibigay yung binihingi ko. Oh, I'm, I'm nice. Give my wishes. How well do you know your Jesus? I, I don't know. Predominantly, we're a Catholic nation, so most likely kilala mo si Jesus. If you go to a, a Muslim nation here in Asia, most of the time when you ask, you know Jesus, they don't know who Jesus is. Pero sa ating mga Pinoy, because for 400 years, we're under the Spanish regime, kilala natin si Jesus. In fact, some of you pinangalan kay Jesus, right? Some of you pangalan Kristo. Uh, uh, I don't know. Iba sa inyo, Kristo sa sabungan. Pero either way, 
Kilala natin si Jesus. But it's one way to know someone. It's another thing to really have a relationship with him. I know President Duterte. I mean, he's our president. He's a former mayor of Dabao. I mean, he loves motorcycle. I know a lot of stuff about our president. But you ask me, do I have this number on my phone? Eh. I don't know him personally. Now, let me ask you, do you know Jesus? Yeah, I know Jesus. Do you have a relationship with him? That's another question. So, hindi ngunit Christiano ka, hindi ngunit Katoliko ka, hindi ngunit Iglesia. I don't know your religion. Hindi ngunit pupunta ka sa church, you have a relationship with him. Hindi ngunit sincere ka kay Jesus, you have a relationship with him because you can be sincerely wrong. Be careful because your belief drives your behavior. Now, I'll end the story. Alam ko, bored na kayo. They all failed the test. It was just a, an exam, a test of how well do you know Jesus. And all of them in the boat, they all flunked the test. Sablay sila lahat. Walang nagsabi, hindi ako Jesus, naniwala ako sa'yo. Nung pagtayo mo nga, alam ko, sasabihin mo, quiet, be still. Walang ganon. Lahat sila natakot. And they're so in fear, they were so terrified who is this? Because wala pang gumagawa nun ever. I don't know about you. Maybe, just maybe, you're here today, you have a wrong perspective of who Jesus is. I don't know, maybe hindi binigay ni Jesus yung healing ng nanay mo, namatay, and then sinisisi mo na si Jesus. I like the song kanina, He is good. And some of you, maybe yung Jesus na kilala mo, yung genie na Jesus, na pag hinimas mo, Jesus, bigay mo yung request ko. Siguro naman, Jesus, pwede naman kami, kahit may asawa siya, nagmamahala naman kami, si Romeo at Juliet, nasa Bible yan. Ha? Wala sa Bible si Romeo at Juliet. Baka ibang Bible binabasa mo, te. Naguluhan ka na. I don't know kung sino Jesus na kakilala mo, but maybe, maybe, look up here. Maybe just like the disciples, we failed the test of who Jesus really is. Now, I have good news for you. Because si Jesus is not just a God of second chances, He is a God of multiple chances. Weeks after, months after, I don't know. But it happened, same scenario. Listen up. In Matthew 14, there's a recorded story. And this happened after nitong unang event. And this happened when Jesus, this time, sabi ni Jesus, same boat, same people, same lake. Are you getting the point? And then sabi ni Jesus, you go ahead. Punta na kayo sa, bumalaot na kayo, susunod ako. And Jesus, you know, nagpunta sa mountain and pray to, to God. And then, nung tinitin niya mga disciple, nasa kalagitnaan na, same thing happened. There was a strong wind. There was a storm. I told you, suddenly, dumarating yung storm dun sa Sea of Galilee. And, and, and this time, si Jesus, I don't know, pag, pagdating ng panahon, harap ko na si Jesus, tatanong ko to, naglakad siya sa tubig. I don't know. Ano ba trip ni Jesus? Di na lumipad or something, di ba? Naglakad! Sabi niya kasi mga disciple, pre, mauna na kayo, sunod ako. Tapos sabi ng mga tropa niya, sirado ka, dude, sunod kami. Hindi, mauna na kayo, pray lang ako sa daddy ko. Tapos sunod ako. It was so dark. Storm came, and they saw, pag may lightning, may lumalakad na tao. Lumalakad, parang lumalakad pang ganun, di ba? And then, nung lumalakad si Jesus, everyone to- thought, it's a ghost. Pare naman. Saka naman nakakit ng multo, lumalakad pa sa dagat, di ba? Para ang labo rin ng mga disciple. Siguro wala silang maisip, multo, multo, and all. And, and, and she just said, do not be afraid, it is I. And we know the story si Peter, kung talaga ikaw si Jesus, palakari mo rin ako sa tubig, and that's another story, na another preaching. Pero for the sake lang na hindi nagbabasa ng Bible, kukwento ko rin saglit. Lumakad si Peter, nakafocus kay Jesus, and then nung sinip niya, focus niya sa wave, instead of kay Jesus, lumubog! And then, kinuha niya agad. Sabi sa Bible, immediately he said, Peter, we're gonna pick up the story from there. Matthew 14, 32, they climb, okay, to the boat. And when they climb into the boat, the wind died down. <laughs> Imagine ko na to. It was completely calm. And if you're one of the disciples, you're gonna say, ah, nangyari na to. Deja vu. Yung mga disciples, oh, yun, sinang yari na to. Hindi mo naalala. And how are they gonna react this time? 
Will they react the same way they reacted last time? Who is this? Will they be terrified this time? Ano kaya magiging reaction? Again, this is a test. They may have failed first time. This time, do they really know who Jesus is? We're gonna look at the verse. Nakasunod. Here's their reaction. The disciples worshipped. Wow. They were no longer terrified. They no longer ask, who is this? They now proclaim who Jesus really is. The word truly is very important. They say, truly, you are the son of God. I just presented to you the key on how to live a storm-proof life. I just presented a verse to you on how to sleep like a baby in the midst of a storm. I just presented to you on how to have faith even when it's dark and stormy. I just presented to you the key to live a life free from worries and anxiety. One word, worship. Everybody say worship. No longer who is this? No longer who are you? No longer terrified, but now they bow down and worship and say, truly, you are the son of God. The word worship simply means lordship. Lordship, when you say lordship, it's, it, it's really without any hesitation, without any question, I'm going to worship you for who you are. Lord, matapos na tong COVID na to, or hindi, it doesn't matter as long as I have you, I'm good. Sometimes we want a Jesus who's a savior, and rightly so, siya po ay savior. But did you know that Jesus was referred to a savior 24 times lang sa Bible? You know how many times he was referred as Lord? 622 times. Staggering, isn't it? Gusto natin madala si Jesus, isave mo yung problema ko sa marriage, isave mo yung predicament ko sa pera, isave mo yung cancer ko, isave mo ko sa cancer, isave mo ko. Okay yon. si Jesus is a savior. But let me tell you something, he's also Lord. Huwag sinabi mong Lord. Sabi ni Kuya Kim last night, I realized that I'm worshiping a God, a Jesus, na gusto ko lang best friend, pero not a Lord. Ayoko ng Lord. Gusto ko best friend. Pag sabi mo na yung dapat sabihin sa akin, kukontrolin mo ko, ayoko niyan. Pag sinabi mong bawal ito, bawal to, eh, ayoko niyan. Best friend tayo, hindi nagsisisiya ng best friend. But it's not just your best friend. He is Lord. That's why Lordship is very, very important. Obedience. So let me leave you with this question. What is one thing that God is asking you to let go? Right now. Could it be that the reason why you're here today, God is asking you, anak, let go mo yan because I'm going to assure you it's a form of worship. Ang takil mo pinangahawakan yung pride, yung ego, yung galit mo sa asawa mo, yung unforgiveness mo sa biyanan mo, yung, yung, yung uh, uh, pagwaldas mo ng pera, yung uh, insecurity mo. I don't know kung ano pinapag-give up sa inyo, Lord. What is one thing right now that God is asking you, just let go? And I know it's hard, Pastor, hindi ganun kadali yun. Yeah, of course, hindi ganun kadali yun. 30 years mo ng, 30 years mo ng ano yun? <laughs> Pare, 30 years mo ng bisyo yan. 20 years mo ng pinagkakaabalahan yan. And God is asking you, don't worry, don't worry. I'm not asking you to totally give it up. I'm just asking you to have a decision today because in your weakness, in your acknowledgement, I'm going to be there. You know what the Bible says in our weakness? His grace is made perfect in our weaknesses. God is just asking your commitment. God is asking on your knees and say, Lord, hindi ko kaya to, have it your way. Do you feel weak in fighting a temptation or addiction? Huwag ka matakot. Masyado malaki kung sasabihin mo, Lord, overnight, tatanggalin ko to. No, 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 no. Ang gusto lang ni Lord, anak, I just want you to be part of this journey. I'll be part of this journey. My grace is sufficient for you. It's made perfect in your weakness. So let go and let God. So let me go back to the analogy of a tree. This is my prayer for all of us. In Psalm um, 1 verse 3, this is my prayer for all of you. I'm going to ask the music team to come up and, and, and sing this song that we sang Can we just all stand? I'm just going to ask you to this time to worship Him. I'm going to ask you this time to, to release yung mga fears and worries natin. And we're just going to worship Him for who He is.
Sabi sa Psalm chapter, three, uh, chapter 1 verse 3, you're gonna be like a tree planted by the streams of water. And that's my picture for all of us. Now, we're gonna be like that tree. Hindi inaanay yung ugat. But we're gonna be like this tree planted by the streams of water. We're gonna yield our fruit in season. We're gonna be fruitful. Our leaves will not wither. And everything that we do will prosper. That's my prayer for all of you. That's my, that's my hope for all of us. That idols cannot save us. Yung mga pinangahawakan mo for the longest time, hindi kayo masasave niyan. Your fears and worries, just let go and let God. And hopefully, we're gonna be like this tree planted by the streams of water. We're gonna yield. We're gonna grow. We're gonna flourish. We're gonna be prosperous. Amen? We're gonna sing this song. And as we sing this song, just, just, just worship. If you feel like raising your hands, if you feel like shouting, if you feel like crying, if you feel like kneeling, just, just do it. Release nyo muna yung sarili nyo sa lahat ng worries and anxiety and say, God, have it your way. Let's just sing this song and let's just worship Him and afterwards I'm going to pray for you. My hope you restore Your promise is sure And I am convinced That you are faithful My hope you restore
Yes, Lord. If you're here today and you have now a clearer perspective of who really Jesus is, that He deserves nothing less but our full devotion, yung worship po natin, so let's set aside muna yung mga fears and worries natin because Jesus rebuked His disciples. The reason of why you're afraid is because you have no faith. And maybe this time, after hearing Jesus' word, after giving parang second chance sa mga disciples, maybe some of you here, you need to repent. Kasi ina-approach natin si Jesus minsan like a genie or an ATM. Now we have to work hard for Him. We have to do good for His love. Mahalin niya tayo pabalik, but that's not the Jesus of the Bible. As I pray today, maybe some of you are facing impossibilities. Maybe some of you are full of worries and doubts and fears. The key is worship. Worship Him because truly you are the Son of God. Painon, patawarin niyo po kami sa aming mga maling pananaw minsan. Yung selfish motives namin, Lord God, to approach you because we have a need, because we want a self-serving solution to our problems. Panginoon, lahat naman kami, Lord, are guilty of that. And you're a loving God. Okay lang sa'yo, i-approach ka namin ng ganung pamamaraan because you want to introduce yourself to us. And hopefully, makilala ka namin, Lord, kung sino ka talaga, that you are Lord. You are our Father. And yet, Lord, kailangan kami mag-submit sa will mo. Not our will, but yours be done. Kaya, Panginoon, patawarin niyo po ang mga ibang nandito ngayon sa mga pagkakataon na in-approach ka namin, Lord, na maling pamamaraan. So today, Father, we just declare your goodness and your faithfulness of buhay ng bawat isa. As we leave this place, Lord, may we have a f- fresh perspective of who you really is, Lord God. You are a loving Father to us. You're our Lord and Savior. Not just a Savior, but our Lord. Kaya, Panginoon, patawarin niyo po kami. At nawa, Lord, starting today, we're gonna live life free of worries and anxieties and doubts because we're gonna put our full trust in you. Not on idols, but on you alone. We honor you today. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. For our online viewers, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Sorry we went over time. But nevertheless, may, may, may God bless you. God bless you. And see you next week for a brand new series. So sa mga online viewers natin, God bless you. You're dismissed.